So you got a diagnosis for that pain in your butt and it's a hip labral tear. And all the stuff that you're doing to make that hip labral tear feel better isn't working. And you're starting to get frustrated. You might even be considering surgery. Well, slow down hipster, because in today's video, I'm gonna share some information with you that might make you look at your pain a little bit differently. Welcome to Max Resnick Movement, your last stop for pain-free hips. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about that pain in your butt. If you're watching this video, I'm gonna safely assume that you got that dreaded hip labral tear diagnosis for that achy badunkadunk. But, pun intended, that diagnosis does not make much sense if we look at our basic hip anatomy. In this video, we're gonna talk about two things. The first thing we're gonna talk about is why a hip labral tear diagnosis does not make sense for pain that you feel in the buttocks region. And secondly, I'm gonna give you some reasons that make more sense of why you might be feeling discomfort in this area of your body. And stick around to the end of the video where I give you some practical tips on how to get your hips starting to feel better today. To understand why a hip labral tear most likely is not causing your butt pain, let's take a look at some very basic hip anatomy. The labrum is a type of cartilage that is attached to the socket of the hip joint. So if a torn labrum causes pain, then the pain should be located where the hip joint is. The hip joint is located closer to the groin and not near the butt. So if the labral tear was really the cause for your pain, wouldn't the pain be closer to where the hip joint actually is? There are arguments made by orthopedic surgeons that the pain is referred. In other words, the labral tear can cause pain in other areas of the body. Maybe, and I can't tell you with certainty that that never happens. But what I can tell you is that many people have hip labral tears and experience no pain. So wouldn't a better explanation be that you are one of these people also and that your hip labral tear is not the cause for your pain? That the pain you're experiencing in the glute area is not because of the hip labral tear but for some other reason. Let's talk about what those other reasons can be. Now that we know what the labrum is and where it's located, let's talk a little bit about the butt. I don't think I need to show you where the butt is located. So let's talk about what the major structures are that exist in the buttocks. The main structure in the buttocks are muscles and not just any muscles, the strongest and largest muscles in the body. And it's very common for muscles to ache. Tension, muscle imbalance, weakness, stiffness, stress, there's so many reasons why muscles can feel painful. And these painful sensations can feel jointy, so to speak. And this is especially true when someone in a position of authority, like an orthopedic surgeon, tells you that the pain is coming from a hip labral tear. Okay, so let's say you keep an open mind and you're willing to trust this max guy on YouTube about your butt pain. What's next? What do you do about your muscle pain? Two things. And the first thing is movement. And not just any movement, full body movement. Movement that restores balance and function to all the muscles and joints in your body. What we don't wanna do is just isolate the area that hurts. Because the area that hurts is rarely the problem. In fact, that achy area is probably already working extra hard to make up for other weaker, stiffer muscles in the body. The second is mindset. The more we believe that our pain is coming from some structural abnormality like a hip labral tear, the further we get from feeling better. Understanding that muscle tension and achiness is common and harmless 
is the first way to address the problem. To learn how to integrate both of these elements today, sign up for my free hip labral tear email course. In that course, I will email you a new movement or mindset lesson to do every day to start feeling better. A link to that course will be in the description box below. That's all I got for today. See you on the next one. Happy hips.